All right, so let's move to Tinkercad.com and let's do create a new design. And in your new design, we are going to import that amazing boat hull we just made. When you bring in your boat hull, keep your sizes. And then take a peek at it and see if you like it. If there's anything you want different, you can simply stretch it to make it a different shape. It's totally flexible that way. And then I wanted my shape to be sloped a little different, so that's why I made it thicker uh, on the bottom. So right now I'm going to tilt it uh, 10 degrees so that part of it's sticking under the water. I'm going to lower this down so that front edge touches. So what this did is gives me the slope that makes my boat look the way that I want. I'm going to bring in a box or a whole box and I'm going to make sure it's larger than the object that I have built. Now you can see this will cut out past the bottom of my ship. So when I lower this down to zero, now I can cut off my ship the way that I want. Raise this up so that I don't lose any of the ship parts. You can see it cuts at just the right seam. Make sure I've got it all included. And when I group it, I have now got my nifty shape for building my own awesome boat. I need to add a base to build the boat on. I'm going to do that with an oval. And I'm going to make that oval out of a cylinder. I'm going to make this 0.5 millimeters thick. I'm going to raise it up to the height that I want to put my ship's um, deck. And I'm just going to stretch it out so that it fits. The neat thing about this is because I made it thin, I can uh, stick it inside the ship and arrange it. And it'll poke out a little bit and it won't hurt anything as I tweak and adjust and get it to the exact location so that it makes a flat floor to build on but doesn't peek out of any of the sides. All right, let's add a awesome cabin to our little ship. I'm gonna press W to set my cabin on the deck of the boat. I'm gonna bring out a box. I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna shrink it just a little so it fits the way I want. I chose size 15. I'm going to grab both pieces. I'm going to center them left and right. I'm going to do Control D to create a clone of that or a duplicate of that little piece and I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to make the new one a whole by clicking the shape choices. And then I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it so that it's two millimeters smaller. So there it's size 13. I'm going to fit to zoom or zoom to fit click both pieces and I'm going to center them on each other center center I want to take the center cube and make it at least 15 high so I chose 17 so now I can push it down till it gets to zero I was checking this height right here and then when I select both pieces so now it says two shapes and group them you can see that I cut out my magic cabin let's add an amazing set of windows to our cabin I'm gonna go to the front of it so I'm just rotating so I can see it in the front I'm gonna press W and I'm gonna bring out a box it's quite large but I can real quickly grab the middle handles and shrink them to the measurements I want since we have the grid on the front, we can see the millimeters that we're leaving around. So I'm leaving two millimeters on each side. And then I'm going to push that in. It's way bigger than I need to, so I'm going to shrink it just because I can. Keeps my project a little more clean. And then I'm going to use this same window twice to do the other windows. So I'm going to do Control D. I'll move it out of the way for a moment. And I'm going to group the first two pieces by holding shift, clicking them, and grouping them. 
Now I'm going to use the cone to pull my second window forward. And then I'm going to stretch it using the black handles wider and wider. Let's take a peek at it from the side. I like where that's going to be poking out. You could adjust it with the arrows if you wanted. To get it so that the arrows go the way that you want, I will warn you that you need to shut off that work plane we had a moment ago. Go back to the normal work plane so that these arrows drag the directions you expect. Then when you group those two pieces, this time I'm just going to grab and touch both. Note it says two shapes and click select. And my little ship's cabin's got the front cut out. Let's add a door real quick. Once again, I'm going to set the work plane to the bottom of the deck. I'm going to bring out a box. I'm going to grab those little handles and shrink them till I'm happy. Make this way thinner because remember, it's only two millimeters thick. And then I want to add a cool arch to the top of it. So I'm going to press W and I'm going to click on the top of that little shape. And I'm going to bring out the half moon or the half round roof. Rotate it 90 degrees, making sure you snap to the long lines to make it super simple. Make that piece a hole and then simply use the little black handles to get it to the exact size that you want. I'm going to use the amazing fit view to selection so that it lines up even easier. Now I can click on each by holding shift. So there's two shapes and then the main building is a third shape. And when I group them, you can see that my window or my door is now epically cut out. I'm gonna press W to go back to the main view. I'm gonna add a roof real quick by simply bringing out the work plane, setting it on top. I'm gonna bring out a simple cube and change it from size 20 to size 19 by holding the shift button. And then I'm gonna take it and shrink it down to two millimeters thick using the handle on the top. Let's center it on our little building super quick by selecting both pieces and doing center and center. I wanna add a little cool touch by tilting it five degrees. And then I wanna pull it down one millimeter so that it's in the right place on the roof. You can tell it looks good when it does slope, but it doesn't poke out. Once you've got those two pieces arranged, click shift to select them both, group them so they're one piece, select your entire ship, and let's center it uh, left and right. And then you can take a look at it and see if you like where your ship's cabin is on the boat. I am happy with mine, so I am going to group them and make my little groovy ship, my Build a Better Boat ship, all one piece, and I'm going to pick a cool brown for it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have fun making yours even more epic than mine. Uh, this is the Build a Better Boat Challenge, and better than anything else, you are not breaking any copyright because I have given you a design that you can create on your own. Thanks for watching. Please share the cool things that you create with us at HL Mod Tech on either Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram.